Let's now dig into that hot potato of a discussion, the age limit debate. My guest is the Honorable Ruth Nankabira. She's uh, the government chief whip. Good evening, Honorable. Good evening to you. We understand our cabinet on which you sit has begun discussions about the age limit debate. Can you confirm or deny that? That is not true. That is not true? No, it's not true. There is talk about this debate everywhere in Parliament. Ugandans are talking about it, and uh, that should be a matter of concern to you folks. Is it something that you feel is not relevant at all, or are you planning to have it at some other time? Because you're saying it's not true, it's not happening now. First of all, the matter of uh, lifting age limit is a constitutional matter. And in the ninth parliament, there are groups of Ugandans who had their views regarding amendment to the constitution. But because there was no time, because we were going for elections, we handled just a few of the proposed, proposed amendments to the Constitution. And therefore, we remained with a, uh, quite a number of proposals to the Constitution. And I remember that the President promised that uh, there will be a Constitutional Review Commission established to handle matters regarding changes or proposals in the Constitution. And this is normally what happens it's not going to be the first time that a constitution is amended. So many people, you know, have been expecting this to happen. First year has elapsed. We are now in the second year into the ninth parliament, in the tenth parliament. So people are like, when are you bringing the amendments? So yes, people have that anxiety. But in government, in cabinet, we have not yet discussed that. Are you planning to discuss this? We are planning to discuss issues regarding amendments to the constitutional review. And is this one of them, the removal of the age limit for the presidency, Article 102? Yes, there is a group of Ugandans who would wish to have that amended. So on your part as cabinet, since you are going to meet, uh, and these Ugandans will not be there, they've shared your views with them, both sides, what is uh, the point of discussion from your side as cabinet? Well, we are looking at the president to establish a constitutional review commission. This commission is expected to get the views from the people. A white paper will be generated mm. and cabinet will discuss that white paper. It has to be a cabinet minister, namely the minister in charge of constitutional affairs, to table whatever amendments, whatever proposals that the people of Uganda would wish to have in the constitution. Let me remind you a little, Honorable, uh, you were in uh, the parliament of 2005, and again there was talk about a constitutional review commission to be put in place uh, to you know, hear out on Ugandans on the matter of uh, term limits. That did not happen. Before we knew it, MPs were facilitated, and they removed the term limits. And you're telling us now there's going to be a commission that is going to hear from Ugandans on this matter. Why should we believe you? Well, I'm basing my argument from what I heard from the president. Why should this matter be about the president? Because uh, the president seems to be in the driver's seat of this. And uh, there is a bias to that because it would favor him if this limit is removed. So we are saying we are waiting to hear from the president. The mm. president should say mm. there is parliament uh, to which you belong. And uh, we have a constitution which is in place and we know what it says. So why are we tethering everything to the president who is obviously biased because this benefits him? Because his position is enshrined in the constitution. What's he's your... the fountain mm. of mm. honor. Mm. He's the president. He's the chief executive. He sits in cabinet. He chairs cabinet. Mm. So there is no way you can think that you will be like him. Besides being so chief whip, you are woman representative for Chivoga district. Yes. You represent the people of Chivoga. They sent you to parliament to represent them. And you for speak many for times, them. actually. Um, so what's your personal stand as member of parliament for Chivoga on this age limit debate? Well, first of all, I have not engaged my constituents. I have not at all engaged them over this. We are talking about development. That's for your personal stand, honorable. Operation, wealth creation and all that, I have not engaged, they have not engaged with me in any matter concerning age limit, lifting of age limit. You're their leader, you should be beginning this discussion, you should be engaging Why? them on this matter, because you Why? are their leader. Why? 
Is it not an important thing at all, uh, honorable? To me, it's not. To, to, me, not. to me, it's not. Honorable, and I want it... to remind you, mm. I was in the Constituent Assembly. Mm. I am part of those people who sat for 18 months and promulgated the Constitution of Uganda, 1995. That's why I don't lose sleep over this. Honorable, does it not worry you that we are removing? The last element that could help us as a country have but a smooth. Who, who has let, told let me you, let me ask a question, you honorable. You then removing. you can answer. <laughs> Does it not concern you that we stand the risk of removing the last element we have in our constitution that ensures a smooth transition from one entity, from one person to another? Because you're saying it's not important, and I'm shocked that you're thinking it's not important. It should be important. Why? Don't we, this, don't, like we, saying, don't we have the constitution right now? Are we operating in a vacuum? Are we operating in a vacuum? We've seen members of parliament, both from the opposition, independents, and NRM, swearing by the constitution of Uganda. Why should you get worried? Because the constitution has any provisions, even on how to amend it. Let's wrap it up this way, Honorable. My time is up. Uh, we want to hold you to the timelines that uh, you're setting. You're saying that... Uh, Gab cabinet is going to set in place a constitution review commission when is that going to happen and when are we going to concretely hear out cabinet on this matter so that the rumors in the corridors stop mm, I, I think you lack people lack, lack what to do <laughs> people lack what to do yes talking about uh, a matter as important as this i mean what does it have to do with you it's already honorable i'm a citizen of this let country me tell you, this constitution I mean, binds hmm. me like it does bind you but who has told you mm that government is planning to... You, know, you just told me that as cabinet you're going to put in place a constitution review commission. Because there, you are, that many, said that. Because there are many issues. Did you hear the outcome of the, the court, the case against which, which uh, Colonel Kiza basically lodged and what the, the Chief Justice advised government? Okay, so you're saying there's going to be this commission in place. What are the timelines? Ugandans need to hold you accountable to that. Right. When is, is that an, going to happen? This is an executive power which I do not have. The minister in charge of constitutional affairs submitted 18 names before the chief executive, who is the president of this country. And it is up to him to establish the constitutional review commission. So, I mean, I, as a government chief whip, I have work to do. I cannot sit there and lament as if the age limit is the only program of this government. I have bigger programs, programs towards making sure that we enhance incomes of homesteads. And some people feel this actually would help to enhance people's incomes. But anyhow, this discussion there. does continue. Uh, hopefully we can uh, pick your mind. <laughs> Along the way, with all these timelines in place, commission in place, everything and has its you time. Out on those. Everything has its time. People should. And some feel this is the time to have this discussion. No, the problems of democracy in Uganda were solved in 1995 when we sat in the conference center for 18 months and we promulgated the Constitution of Uganda. Hopefully, whatever you, will not you are undo doing, what you did then. Whatever you are is up, doing is just. Amending. Mm. If you want to amend, you amend. If you don't want, you don't amend. Honorable Ruth Nakabira, thank you for talking to us. You are welcome. And that was Newsnight.